Hello children. Good morning. Today for class 5th, we will start our next lesson. That is lesson 6, a robbery. This story is about how a thief is caught by the police and how the police solve a case of robbery and five suspects. Who is the real culprit? So let us start. Wasn't colony. It is the name of the colony. The whole colony was in shock. Why shocked? Because a house in this colony had been burgled. Burgled means robbed. It was Mr. Sharma's house. The whole family had gone to a wedding. So, no one was there in the house. And when they returned around midnight, their house was in a mess. In a mess means in total disorder. Everything in the house was stolen. Jewelry, cash, etc. Everything. Now, as Mr. Sharma saw that there was a robbery in their house, they called the police and Inspector Naresh came over there along with the policemen. And the police along with Inspector Naresh searched the whole house for the clues. They found footprints in the garden and there was a shoe near the garden wall. So the thief must have come climbing over the wall. The police thought so. So Inspector Naresh asked some people in the neighborhood if they had seen something suspicious. Suspicious means doubtful. Mr. Hussein, the neighbor of Mr. Sharma, had heard some noise and when he looked outside the window, someone was climbing over the garden wall, he said. Inspector Naresh asked, did he see him? But as it was dark, he could not see well, but was sure that the man was tall and thin, said Mr. Hussein. And when the police questioned Raju, Raju, whose shop stood at the corner of the road, and if he could see Mr. Sharma's house from his shop, he saw a man Walking fast, having a bag close to his chest. Raju even shouted at him. When the inspector asked how did he look, Raju said he was short and thin. He wore black trousers and a blue shirt. He had curly hair. Then the police inquired from the ice cream Vendor who sells ice cream at the end of the road till late night. So, he also saw someone suspicious at around 11 p.m. He said he was a bald man with a moustache. Bald means having little or no hair on the scalp. He was walking very fast and kept on looking back. Then the police went to the manis. Manis are the neighbors who lived two houses away from Mr. Sharma. As they came home late that night after watching a movie, they saw two young men on a motorcycle driving past recklessly. 
means driving away dangerously. Mrs. Money was sure that they were thieves as they looked like ruffins. Ruffins means troublemakers. Inspector asked, could Mrs. Money see their faces? But she only saw a glimpse of them. Glimpse means a partial view. We can say, Sirf ek jhalak dekhi. Both had long hair and one had a beard. So now, the police caught five men who matched the descriptions given by the witnesses. And at the end, the police arrested Gattu. Can you guess why? Because Gattu's leg fit the shoe perfectly which was found in the garden. Which was the clue that the police found from the Sharma's garden. Gattu's leg fit the shoe perfectly. This is how the police solved a case of robbery having five suspects and the real culprit, the real thief was Gattu. Thank you children.